Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks everyone for getting me to 100 views on one of my videos. Um, to, today's video is going to be um, top 10 places I would like to visit in the future. Like countries I would like to visit, I guess. Um, so, starting off on the list is Argentina at number 10. And um, the key features of Argentina are the heavily forested Andes Mountains. Um, the Andes Mountains is a mountain range that runs up the, I think it's the west coast of uh, Argentina, and it's um, it's got a dense forest on it, and uh, there's a lot of wildlife in there, such as the manned wolf, which is one of my favorite, and the Mangelic penguin, which the Mangelic penguin, I guess, is in the forest, but um, more on like the coast. Um, the culture in uh, Argentina is Italian and Spanish, but I don't really know much about Argentina's culture. It's another reason I would love to go there. Um, but going into number nine um, is Malaysia. Um, Malaysia is very beautiful. Uh, there's um, a lot of like mountains and uh, rainforests on the mountains, which is really pretty to see and kind of hard to get through. But I would love to be able to go through there and see some of the wildlife. <clears throat> um, some of the animals that live there are the Malayan tiger and the Borneo elephant. And the lesser mouse deer, which is like a little tiny mouse, like or a little tiny deer. That's they're kind of cute. Um, I'll put one in a picture of one in the video. Um, and their culture is very mixed. It's uh, very like Indian and Eurasian, and Chinese. Um, probably a lot of like um, Buddhism and Hinduism. Uh, but number eight is Brazil. Um, part a lot of the, or the some of the cool parts of Brazil is Rio de Janeiro, where is, they have that big statue of Jesus, and um, it's just really really pretty. Um, the city is uh, I think they're favelas, but I'm not sure on that. But it's where it's like stacked houses on top of each other. Uh, and also in Brazil, the Brazil has the Amazon rainforest and the Amazon River. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure most of the Amazon rainforest is actually in Brazil. And uh, that is home to the jaguar, maned wolf, which is also in Argentina, which was my number ten. I'm pretty sure. Um, the giant anteater and the caiman. Um, their culture is uh, very Western and um, with a little bit of African and Portuguese influences. So my number seven is Venezuela, and Venezuela um, has the Caribbean Sea, uh, the Orinoco, and just a lot of beautiful landscapes like uh, Tabletop, Mount Tabletop Mountain which is basically um, this like plateau that's like flat on the top and it's got it's like a whole different environment um, like all the species at the top of the mountain are different than the ones at the bottom and it's just really cool um, and their culture is um, a mixture of Spanish and indigenous so like Spanish speaking and then um, like native like basically like generations down of like the Mayas and Aztecs probably or some some of culture that was from there a long time ago. Oh, I forgot the animals. Um, the animals there is uh, a giant otter, which is actually one of my favorite animals. The Orinoco crocodile. And the Western Indi Indian Indian manatee, my bad. Um, 
Number six is Egypt, and Egypt's key features is obviously the pyramids, uh, the Sphinx, and then just the massive desert. Uh, the nature there is um, the crocodiles, camels, and um, they have cobras and scorpions, which are also really cool. Um, the culture in Egypt is, <coughs> is the Egyptian culture, which is one of the oldest and um, most iconic cultures. They're known for their um, very elaborate belief system and writing system that is very hard for us to understand still today. Um, and going on to my number five, Colombia. Colombia um, has some really pretty mountains with uh, glaciers and <clears throat> tropical rainforest down below that are fed from the glaciers. Um, the na the animals in Colombia are the Orinoco crocodile, um, the Andean condor, and the Oh, Colombian red-tailed boas. Um, the culture is mainly Spanish. <clears throat> My number four is New Zealand, and um, they have uh, some really cool volcanoes and some really pretty beaches, and then uh, some mountain mountainous areas with uh, glaciers and caves uh, in them and those are home to uh, a very diverse ecosystem um, <clears throat> their nature is very weird and they they have like a lot of animals that are known to be in other places like the kakapo and the weta and the yellow-eyed penguin the giant weta, which the wetas are like these huge grasshoppers, they're nasty looking. Um, and their in culture is um, influenced by its uniqueness and isolation. It's kind of cool. They're like very different than a lot. They're like the island nation. Um, it's the Mau Maori people, um, and they're they live like a island marine lifestyle. They eat a lot of fish. <laughs> um, my number three is Costa Rica, and um, their the key features there is their mountain ranges and uh, vibrant nature in the cloud forest, which is like this rainforest that's up in the mountains. So it's very and it's very like um, misty because the clouds are like in, like within like the rainforest. Um, the animals that live there is like the Cody Mundi and the red eyed tree frog, which I'm pretty sure is their um, country's national frog, and then or national animal or whatever. And then they have toucans and eyelash vipers. Um, their culture is vibrant and uh, a mixture of Spanish and Chinese and Jamaican. <coughs> But number two is Cambodia, <clears throat> and the key features there is Angkor Wat and um, the low-lying central plain where the Mekong River runs. And um, Angkor Wat is like one of the main reasons it's number two on my list. Angkor Wat is like the largest religious building or religious monument in the world, and uh, it's just like this giant temple that's like basically a huge city. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I really want to visit there. Uh, the animals that live there is uh, the tiger, the bantang, I don't know what that is, um, and the other deer, and a d-hole, which d-hole is kind of funny because I thought that was just a video game term for a dog, but evidently that's a real animal. I don't know that. Um, their culture is very uh, Indian based, so like um, Buddhism and Hinduism. And my number one is India. Um, some of the cities there is like Mumbai, uh, which is home to Bollywood, 
and the Gateway of India, the Stone Arch, um, Bangalore, which is known for its nightlife and beautiful palaces, and like <clears throat> one of the main reasons I want to go there is the nature. There's so many different like areas of nature. Like they have deserts, um, tropical rainforests. They have like very like high areas in the Himalayas, like. Um, where like there's like snow leopards and stuff and um you know it's just it's like really cool the biodiversity is crazy there i want to go there so i can see all the different types of animals that live there <clears throat> and also the um culture there the buddhists and um different um beliefs like hinduism and all that stuff uh and also the monks, I want to go get one of those like tattoos that the monks do for you one day. So there's just a lot of reasons why I want to go to India. <clears throat> but that's uh, that's my list. And um, I'm going to end this video and um, get to editing it. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks again.